I have to share with you this roundabout. It's amazing. You just draw a line there. You go to church on the left. And let's come back. Uh, no, no, and some houses here. Okay, that one, the roof is falling, which is a pity because there are people living in there. And so the community is fed by a factory which has got that smoke over there because um, life is a bit hard here. But what's really amazing me is this roundabout. Look at that. Cars goes round on this roundabout like it's a normal thing. I've never seen anything like it. Amazing. Wow, that's a very old monastery. I am going to go in there and have a look properly. But it's very old. I've been told this is where uh, Christianity was adopted as um, state religion. The first place on earth to adopt Christianity as a state religion. I'm just coming to this monastery which is very very old. I'm gonna explore it inside. Let me just see what's written here. Genetian. Huh. I'm going to try my level best here and turn round so that you can see this monastery um, in full. Just I think this is the front uh, side of the monastery. It's not going to be very easy. So I'm going to turn very, very slowly so you can see and admire what I'm admiring. 976 AD. Whoa. That's old. Old, old, old. And that's the hills behind us. Big mountains there. As you can see, it's got uh, just a fluff of snow. It's not covered in snow. Just a fluff. According to what I'm reading here, I'm going to share with you guys in the monastery of Hakba, Church of the Holy Sign, built in 976 AD. The Armenian historian Stephen of Taron said that in the 11th century, uh, the queen dedicated the church to her sons, whose images are carved under the East Gable holding a model of the church. There were like 500 uh, people living in the monastery, in this monastery of um, Hakbat and Sanahin. So there were, it's, oh wow, so there were like two monasteries here. Woo! Interesting. Harbat is passed at the top of a mountain near Sanahin, overlooking dramatic vistas of mountains and valleys. In the towered walls enclose some of the most innovative medieval structures in Armenia, including three churches. Okay, a library, a gallery, refectory, bell tower, mausolea, and kachkas. So this was donated as the by generous and assistant of the Armenian Library and the Museum of America in Waterstone, Massachusetts. Thank you, Massachusetts, and thank you, people of Armenia, for looking after this wonderful, wonderful place. We cannot thank you enough. Now we walk to the grounds of the monastery. The grounds are massive as well, surrounded by beautiful hills and mountains. At this monastery, I cannot find any monks, and I don't think it will be fair for me to go and knock at the door. So I'm going to respect their peace if they are in there praying and leave them alone. Because some of the building is old, they've put a sign there to make sure that people don't go there and get themselves hurt. Just look, I'm admiring this. I apologize if I keep showing you the same, the same video, but you have to admire this to be honest. You have to love it. The door is open. I'm gonna go inside, but I have to take my hat off and I can't really talk. Let's go. Wow. It's so quiet. Look. Can you hear the water just in triplets? Can use the light here. Just natural light. Which is coming from the top there. Look at the top. The light is coming from up there. I think this is a hole. It's got water. Oh my god. I have never been in a place like this. Never been in a place like this before.
Everything here is just amazing. There's a door there, but it's locked. There's scriptures here. Something written on the floor. There's nobody here, just me. Oh, that brings me to that tunnel. Wow. Oh, they used to make wine here. Armenian people were making wine here. That's where this light is coming from. To do this place justice, you definitely have to come here and have a look by yourself because it will blow your mind. I am not kidding. Look, I think maybe they're trying to rebuild this. I think they've, just, they've stood them like that and there's a few of them. And let me take my hat off because I was outside and it's a bit cold. That's why I had to keep my hat on. If you look, there's a few of them and this tunnel leads you to the other side. Let me show you. So you've got more on that side. See? Continue on this tunnel. You will see and up here just an open space. And then we go it back inside the tunnel again. And here, if I turn right, I go to that wine cellar. I think this is where they used to store their wines. As you can hear the echo, but I really can't talk a lot here. Let's just go around and look. You can't make a mistake here. You make a mistake, you break a leg. These quaveries, they're quite deep. You see this one. I don't know if you can see it. You see a bit of light reflection. But the light is coming from up the roof, up from the roof up there. Let's look. There are loads of them. So they store their grapes for the wine. And then let's look up there. There, that's where the light is coming from. Yes, that's it. Then we go on this passage, still under a tunnel. Look, it's got different rooms. There's a room here, I think, for worshippers. And then there's another one on this side for worshipper. But I'm not going to go on that one because somebody is resting here. See, so I can't really go on that side. And there are scriptures on the walls. There's something written on it. I can't read it. I think it's written in Armenian. I can't read it. And the rock is crying. So we come out of here. There's lots of scriptures on the floor. You're just walking on the scripture. I don't know whether there are monks or priests resting here. Followers, Christians, resting, I've got no idea. There are so many tombs here. I think there are many um, Christians resting in peace here. It's loads. I, I don't know, maybe a hundred. I don't know, but there's loads. You know, when you walk, you have to be careful because you don't want to be walking on them because that will be a bit unfair. Look, there's loads. Oh, I didn't go inside that. See, there's so many places for you to pray. Here's another one here. See, there's a... You can go in there and pray. See, you look at the roof as well. The light is provided by, by a hollow in the roof. It's not really a hollow. It's, it's got some sort of a glass um, to stop the rain falling in. It's beautiful. When you're walking on these grounds, you've got a feeling of um, peacefulness and happiness. You know, you feel inspired to um, see more, to walk a little bit more. And I'm privileged to be here. Really, really it's, it's really a privilege. I cannot explain it in words. I'm going to turn around so that you can see right behind me. If you look right behind there. See, that's the village. A few people live there. And then, some more people live over there. There's another village over there. The monastery is on a hill. The hill is very high as I'm climbing it here. I can't see anybody. I thought there would be monks, but I cannot see anybody. Maybe they're praying, so I can't really disturb that. Whoa, whoa, look at it from this angle. I've got to take a photo here. I am feeling a bit hungry now. 
because I haven't had my lunch so I'm gonna go and set up my tent and cook something because I'm feeling hungry I am so happy and so fulfilled that I don't want to stay anywhere else apart from in the fields in the forest in the middle of nowhere just doing my prayers and thanking the good Lord for bringing me here because this is something you got to see before you depart from this earth it's beautiful 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 I've, I've just run out of words to be honest I've really run out of words I love it it's it just felt amazing now the Sun has come out so the Lord has decided to shine a bit of sunshine on me because it was feeling a bit cold and I was about to put my warmer jacket oh my god you know I <laughs> all right hello hi uh, hi I've, i was just passing your shop it's my first time here and it's amazing that uh, here they only speak russian and armenian and nothing else and she says she's gonna put somebody online <laughs> you know people are lovely here i've just stopped at a shop asking if i was going the right way because i need to go to the main road uh, then i can cut my bearings oh hold on I need to be heading down there. There's a very big dog behind the gates. No, the gates are very high, very, very high. That's a massive dog. Could have me for lunch. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I just find happiness and it's nice. You know, I talk to myself. You know, when you're driven, and you've got this ambition, this desire to learn more, to know more about other cultures, other people, um, their food, their way of life, and what makes them happy, what makes them sad. You know, when you're driven by such things, you can never be bored of life. You will always be happy. That's why I don't mind. You know, I will walk everywhere. I will walk around the world. Just to see everything. I guess in this village they go to sleep quite early because no cars. And I need to cover 5.3 kilometers. So I'm gonna have to walk. And a lot of people are already dressed up in their pajamas, apart from the odd milkman, you know, who's um, seeing his cows and collecting milk. Hey, Thank you. Yeah, um, Barif. I know Barif. Barif. Yes. Yes, I'm going. Uh... Oh, you want to play? So thank you. Shinora <laughs> Galutin. That means thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Shinora Galutin. You know, people are very nice here. I was just invited for something to eat by that old man. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you in the next video.